What's up again mga ka-weather? This is Benison Estareja. For this video, pag-uusapan naman natin kung ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng isang meteorologist at isang weather forecaster. Lagay ng panahon mula kay uh, Ginong Benison Estareja. Sa forecaster, Benison Estareja. Sir Benison Estareja. Benison Estareja. Benison Estareja para sa ating ulat panahon. Magandang umaga, ako po si Benison Estareja. Benison Estareja. For this video, bibigyan muna natin ng kahulugan ng mga salitang meteorology and weather forecasting. Magbibigay tayo ng mga examples of a meteorologist and a weather forecaster. And then sa huli, assess natin kung ano nga ba si Kuya Kim or si Mang Tani kung sila ba ay weather forecaster or meteorologist. Marami nagsasabi na kapag isa kang meteorologist, you can also be considered as a weather forecaster and vice versa. Dahil based on their analogy, yung meteorology and weather forecasting ay isa lamang ang kahulugan. In its simplest form, meteorology is the study of the Earth's atmosphere in relation to weather and climate. On the other hand, ang weather forecasting naman is the application of meteorology and current technologies in order to predict the state of the Earth's atmosphere at a certain location at any given time. So based on its definition, Weather forecasting is only an application of meteorology and not all meteorologists can be considered as weather forecasters. So, sino-sino nga ba yung pwede natin i-consider as meteorologists? Based from the World Meteorological Organization or WMO, meron dalawang basis para maging isa kang meteorologist. Una, kailangan mo muna ng formal education in meteorology or atmospheric science. It could be in the form of bachelor's degree, master's degree, or PhD. Pero kung wala naman dun sa mga yon, maaari din kayong magkaroon ng specialized na education na related pa rin sa meteorology or atmospheric science such as meteorologist training course. The second basis of WMO para maturing ka na isang meteorologist is dapat nagtatrabaho ka sa field of meteorology. At ang dapat na nature na work mo is either nag-observe, nagpo-forecast, or nagre-report ng weather. Sa Philippines, walang sineset ang PRC na years of experience para maging isa kang meteorologist. But in other countries, such as the US, kailangan at least 3 years of experience in the field para makonsidered ka as a meteorologist. Ilan sa mga example ng meteorologists are the weather forecasters, climatologists, weather and climate researchers, consultants coming from private organizations, professors in meteorology and atmospheric science, and in other cases, mga weather broadcasters na sa ibang bansa ay tinatawag din na weatherman. Yung mga weather forecaster naman tackles a more specific job of forecasting the weather using yung mga supercomputers or yung mga powerful na malalaking computers for numerical weather prediction. Yung mga weather forecaster, either sila yung gumagawa ng mga model forecast or sila yung nag-i-interpret ng mga forecast na ginawa ng mga modelers. So, paano naman natin consider si Kuya Kim at si Mang Tani? Are they considered meteorologists or are they weather forecasters? Kung i-apply natin yung basis ng WMO, Mang Tani ticks the boxes kasi number one, he had a formal education in the form of master's degree in meteorology at the University of the Philippines. At nagtatrabaho din siya ngayon sa field of meteorology as a weather forecaster. He also had an experience sa pag-asa as a weather forecaster and as a climatologist. Kuya Kim's case is very interesting kasi hindi siya nagkaroon ng formal education sa meteorology or sa atmospheric science. However, meron siyang experience as a weather broadcaster or weatherman at kasalukuyan siya nagtatrabaho sa field of meteorology. Nagkaroon din siya ng honorary award in 2011 from the Philippine Meteorological Society for his contribution in meteorology. So in a way, meteorologist siya na parang hindi, but I think the more proper term is for him to be considered as a weather broadcaster or a weatherman. Agree ba kayo sa assessment ko kay Kuya Kim? Comment down below kung sa tingin nyo ay nababagay pa rin siya as a meteorologist and a weather forecaster. As a conclusion, masasabi natin ang lahat ng weather forecasters can be considered as meteorologists kasi ang weather forecasting is an application of meteorology. However, not all meteorologists can be considered as weather forecasters dahil may iba rin fields na tinatalakay ang meteorology. At dyan muna natatapos ang aking video. Hopefully, ay alam nyo na yung pagkakaiba ng meteorology at weather forecasting. But before I end this, shout out muna tayo kay Miss Jem Robil, Archie, Dale Carlo, CJ, Sir Rene of Tagaytay, Ma'am Geraldine, Maki, and Jem Noseha. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Just make sure to give this video a thumbs up at subscribe pa rin po sa aking channel for my future content. Hanggang sa muli mga ka-weather!